It is the rematch of the game that changed everything for the Tennessee Volunteers. Tonight, we take on Alabama. It's the game of the year for the SEC, seven versus eight. And you look at the top 25, you got NC State at one, Arizona State at two, then Ohio State, Clemson, Iowa State, Oklahoma, Bama, Tennessee, Hawaii, Michigan, Florida, Utah, a and Michigan State, Texas, Georgia, LSU, Arkansas, Ole Miss, Syracuse, Oregon State, Cincinnati, San Jose State, Central Florida, and Pittsburgh. Rounding out the top 25, USC, Auburn, Kentucky, Stanford, Texas, Christian, Florida State, and Wisconsin also receiving votes. But tonight, folks, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Tennessee, Alabama, the winner will be in first place in the SEC and likely clinch their spot in the SEC championship game for Alabama, though they are coming off a loss to number 18, Arkansas. Last week, they lost by nine points, 33 to 42. And as for the Tennessee Volunteers, currently on a three-game winning streak, beating Auburn, Georgia, and South Carolina in every game they've won. They've scored more than 40 points. The only game they lost, of course, in Florida, 21 to 41 against the Gators. But here we go. Six and one Alabama taking on six and one at Tennessee. They are number seven and eight, respectfully. And here we go. From Knoxville, Tennessee, it is the game of the year. Alabama and Tennessee. What a matchup we have got in store for you last season. We take you back. Tweak number nine, Tennessee went on the road. They came into that game against Alabama, the number 23 ranked team in the country. Alabama was number one and Tennessee went on the road. They upset the Crimson Tide. It was a game that they almost choked at the end, but it was a game winning field goal by Connor McGrath that won them the game 20 to 17 on the road against the Crimson Tide. Can they do it again tonight? This time at home, time will only telling folks if you have not yet make sure that subscribe button down below for some more tennessee volunteers dynasty mode here on the channel it is the third sunday in october bryce young still the starting quarterback of the crimson tide and he's got his two top receivers still in the squad with him as well both john mechie and jameson williams committed back to alabama this season so they'll both still be on the squad and also 70 likes on this alabama and tennessee video for this wednesday tennessee heads to waco texas to take on the baylor bears again though we need 70 likes on this video to get that video out on Wednesday. Here you go, folks. Number seven versus number eight. Who will win this one and potentially put themselves in the top five in the college football rankings? Starting with the football will be the Crimson Tide. Bryce Young has got it from his own 25 yard line. Young will look over the middle. He has got Jamison Williams. And on the first play, Williams has got Alabama a gain of 23 yards. He'll get him down to midfield. Second and five now for Young. It'll be a halfback draw. The starting running back now is Jace McClellan, and McClellan has got seven yards and a first for the Crimson Tide once more. First and 10 for Young. Out the empty gun, the former Heisman Trophy winner, and Bryce Young will look over the middle. He has got Jaleel Billingsley. Actually, uh, last year in the game, actually, Hassan Haskins won the Heisman over Bryce Young, but nonetheless, though, in real life, Bryce Young's a Heisman Trophy winner. On a first and 10, Young throws over the middle. He's got Slade Bolden. Bolden's going to pick up nine yards, and now a second and one for Bama. Young dropping back, looking to throw two. Is that boss picked off? Oh, Turnage has got it. What a turn of events. Alabama was trying to get into the end zone instead of Brandon Turnage is going to pick it off. Let's go, Brandon. Tennessee gets the football back from the 15-yard line. It'll be a first and 10 for Arch Manning. He's going to take out a read option, and he's going to fumble the football. Okay, so we got the interception by Brandon Turnage instead. Tennessee's going to turn it over on the first play from offense. So Alabama really just picks up right where they left off. So second and two for Bryce Young. Halfback draw, Jace McClellan. He's got blockers upfield, and Jace McClellan is going to make short work of this drive. It's a 17-yard touchdown for the Alabama Crimson Tide. You thought things were turning early, but Bama gets the football back, and it'll be a touchdown for McClellan at 7-0 for Alabama and we got a quick update here the number two team in the nation Arizona State just lost to Southern California USC beats them Keaton Slovis and the Trojans take down the Harvard of the West Coast in Arizona State my goodness Jalen Daniels and the Trojans lose that one so the number two team in the country has been knocked off their second spot that's huge. And also, we've got some other scores. NC State loses to DJ Uyangale and the Clemson Tigers. It'll likely be Clemson at number one in the rankings after this week. Also, LSU beats a and and Ole Miss beats Arkansas. Huge results in ranked matchups right there. As Tennessee gets the ball back here on a second and one. Arch Manning shakes off a sack. He'll go for it all. Jimmy Callaway is picked off. Battle with the interception. And it's been two drives, two turnovers for the Volunteers. Jordan battle with the pick at Alabama. Couldn't have asked for a better start to this game. Now here comes a toss to the left. Jason McClellan. Gonna be stopped though. 
McClellan's going to lose yards on the toss to the left, and Tennessee will get the football back deep back in their own territory. It will be a second and seven for Arch to his right. He'll thread the needle to Jimmy Callaway. Thought we could have had another interception right there. But Callaway's got the first down. Here comes a second and two handoff. Tyon Evans up the middle, going to cut it to the outside. Look at Tyon Evans breaking tackles. Evans for a gain of 23 yards. And now a second and 15, though, for the Volunteers offense. Manning dropping back, looking to throw. He took too much time in the pocket, and Manning's going to lose 12 yards. Christopher Allen's got his second sack of the game, and now it'll be a third and 26. Manning looking over the middle. Jalen Hyatt balls batted, tipped, incomplete. And again, the Crimson Tide defense will get off the field, giving Bryce Young the football back on a third and 10. Young going to look over the top, but he'll miss Jaleel Billingsley. And Tennessee's defense looks good towards the end of the first quarter, taking this one into the second, down by 7-7-0. Seven, seven, we got to get this offense going. They've been so explosive all season. And really, the magic number for Tennessee's offense is 40, so we'll see. So the Volunteers offense with great field position, they've got it up the 40 yard line, third and eight for Manning, empty gun, look to his right, Walker Merrill. Merrill on the out route, picks up 18 yards and a first. Huge player right there by Tennessee, will make it a first and 10 now. At about the 20 yard line, triple option, Manning keeps, he pitches at the very last second. Tyon Evans cuts it upfield, and Tyon Evans will pick up a first down. Gain of 12 right there for our starting running back. It'll be a first and goal now for Arch. Empty gun, look, lobbing it up, Jimmy Callaway, he's got it. What a grab for Jimmy Callaway. And what a season he's had so far. Callaway's gonna tie this game up at seven. Good ball by Manning. And now Alabama gets it back on a third and one. Bryce Young dropping back, looking to throw. Young in the middle, first down, Slade Bolden. Bolden for 12 yards down to midfield. It goes the Crimson Tide. Second and 13 now for Young. Stepping up, huge hit. Down goes Young. Jeremy Banks in the sack makes it a third and 19 for Alabama. Young dropping back. He's got time to his right. He gets it to John Mechie, but we're there. Willis with the tackle. Mechie short of the first down, and Alabama's going to punt. Conservative move right there by Nick Saban. Alabama's defense back on the field, but Jalen Hyatt has got it on a slant route. It's Hyatt's first catch of the game. One of the best receivers in football picks up 26 yards college football, but third and 14 now for Tennessee Manning. Just going to dump it off to Ramel Keaton. Not the best call right there. Alabama's going to get it back after a Tennessee punt. So the Bama offense got it now from about the 37. Bryce Young on a screen goes to Jace McClellan. McClellan, though, going to fight his way down for a gain of nine yards. It'll now be a second and one for the Bama offense. It's a counter to the left. There goes McClellan again, fighting his way one more time for nine yards. He's been a dominant runner all day. Ten carries, 55 yards, and now they're going to go back to him. McClellan on a second and ten. Another first down, 13 yards for them. Third and four with 90 seconds to go for Alabama. Young looking over the middle. Ball is tipped. Aaron Beasley's all over it. And with a minute 25, Alabama will bring up the kick team. It will be for about a 42-yard field goal. It is up and it is good. It splits the sticks. It's a 10-7 game now for Alabama, but they've left a minute left on the clock for this fast-paced Tennessee offense. So here on a first and 10, Jimmy Callaway. Oh my goodness, he breaks off three tackles and he gets the first down. Jimmy Callaway going to find his way for 12 yards. It'll now be a first and 10 from the 40-yard line. Manning looking over the middle. Callaway again. Two catches for Callaway on this drive, and he's got him a gain of 19. It will be a first and 10 for Tennessee from the 45-yard line. Manning dropping back, looking on the drag route. Who else? Jimmy Callaway's now got three catches on this one drive for Tennessee, and now he gets him down to the 25-yard line. Second and 13, Manning looking up the middle. Cedric Tillman checks in the game for a 14-yard catch. It will be a first and 10 from the 10-yard line. 30 seconds to go. Manning dropping back, looking to his right. Tyon Evans going to catch that one, and Evans is in. Tyon Evans scores a touchdown through the air. 14 to 10 is our score. 24 seconds to go in the second quarter. My goodness, Tennessee. But never count out the Crimson Tide. They've got the football back on a first and 10 with 16 seconds to go. And you know Bryce Young can run. And Bryce Young can run for a very long time. He's got the first down to the Tennessee 48-yard line. It'll be a second and six now for Alabama. Young over the middle. First down, John Mechie. Balls out. Oh, it's picked up by Billingsley. Alabama catches a huge break because now they can bring up their kick team to end the first half. It is up and it is good. And Alabama trims the lead to one. So what a game we've got already here in Knoxville, Tennessee. The Volunteers currently up by one year score, 14 to 13. But man, this one's got instant classic written all over it. We head to the second half where Tennessee will start with the football. They're up by one point, 14 to 13. 
Can Tennessee survive and take home the victory? We will find out. Well, here we go. Third and six for Arch Manning. From the 25-yard line, Manning looking to his left. He tries to find Ramel Keenan, and he does. Keenan stays on his feet. What a block up field by Jalen Hyde and Walker Merrill. Keenan picks up 37 yards, and Tennessee's now back in Alabama territory. Second and five for Arch. Triple option. Looking, pitching it to his right. Keenan on the ground. Ramel Keenan's going to pick up again a nine. Moving the sticks for Tennessee. It'll now be a first and 10 up from the 20 yard line. Manning dropping back, looking to throw over the middle. Julian Nixon up for 14 yards. Tennessee's now got him down to the five. Second goal for Manning. Looking on the slants route, looking, and no, he's gonna be dropped. Manning's gonna lose 10 yards, a crucial play right there. And now it's a third and goal from 15 yards out. Manning looking, but they completely lose Julian Nixon. Manning lobs it, Nixon's got it. Alabama's secondary completely loses our tight end, and Julian Nixon puts Tennessee up by eight, 21 to 13. Halfway through the third quarter, James Norton is gonna boot it back to Alabama. Jamison Williams back on the return. Williams looking for a big one here. He's gonna break it now, deep into Tennessee territory. Oh, he's off the races. Jamison Williams down to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. He'll be tripped about the two but it's a 97 yard return for Jamison Williams, making it a second and goal for Alabama, deep in Tennessee territory. Young dropping back, stepping up. He gets away from Isaiah Simmons and Aaron Beasley, and Bryce Young's gonna score a seven yard touchdown, making this one 19 to 21. Alabama does go for two and they do get it. So it's 21-21 now here in this third quarter, but Manning's gonna take a shot. Oh, Jalen Hyatt. Hyatt and Manning connect for 62 yards, and Tennessee's all the way down to the 20-yard line just on one play. You saw them run that last week in South Carolina, and they're doing it again. And here comes the triple option. Manning takes a hit, Evans tries to jump over a defender. He can't, but still he'll pick up 13 yards. It'll now be a first single off the eight-yard line for the Tennessee offense. Manning looking to throw. Scrambling to his right, he'll get it off to Tyler Evans. Can Evans make a move? He trucks over a defender. Evans down to the one. Oh, he didn't get in, but still. It'll be a second to go off the one-yard line now for Tennessee. Look who's in the game at running back. Joe Milton. They give it to him, and the backup quarterback, Joe Milton. Milton runs for six. Milton punches it in from one yard out. We run the two QB set. You don't know who's getting the football. We run the beer as well. And Arch Manning hands it off to Joe Milton for a touchdown. So Tennessee up seven. Alabama gets the ball back right there. Jace McClellan's going to pick up a gain of eight on the ground. And that'll be a second and two for Alabama. Counterplay to the right. McClellan got some room. Janico Slaughter can't bring him down. And Jace McClellan's got 12 yards. He's got 14 carries for 105 yards. Third and five now for the Crimson Tide offense. And over the middle, there goes John Mechie. Mechie on the slam. Ant route's got a first down. It'll be a second and 13 now for the Crimson Tide offense from the 25 yard line. Young over the middle, first down. No, maybe close. He doesn't get it, but it's Treshawn Holden making it now a third and one for the Crimson Tide. And Bryce Young's gonna keep on a read option. He's got the first down. Young, maybe we'll get in the end zone here. Yeah, he's going to. Bryce Young on a 15 yard read option keeper ties this game up at 28. And that's how we will close out the third quarter. Anyone's ball game here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We've got a quarter left, all tied up at 28. So Tennessee's got it. Second and 12 for Arch Manning. Out the gun, looking to throw over the middle. Ramel Keaton going to fight for the first down yard. She can't get it. It will be a third and one. Here we go. Manning out the gun. Read option. I don't know why the game didn't. Okay, I, I, I held A down. I was trying to give it to Tyler Evans. He just didn't give him the ball. So Manning short of the first down. I, man. Because Alabama now gets it back, and here we go again. Jace McClellan, 10-yard gain, six minutes to go. Bryce Young handoff, Jace McClellan. McClellan's still running. He's on his feet, and Jace McClellan's going to pick up 13 yards and a first down for the Crimson Tide. Six minutes and 18 seconds left. Young stepping up to his right. Oh, I thought Hayden was going to get there, but Jamison Williams got 22 yards. It's a first and goal. Handoff, McClellan. Banks is going to be pushed off, and a touchdown for Jace McClellan. Alabama takes a seven point lead. It is 35 to 28 and out comes Tennessee. It will be a third and 10 for Arch Manning from his own at 25 yard line. And look to his right. That one is picked off. It is battle second of the game. He cuts off the route by Ramel Keaton and Alabama is in the driver's seat. They've got it at the 20 yard line for a third and 10. Bryce Young dropping back. Tennessee needs a stop and instead Jaleel Billingsley is gonna be wide open. Aaron Banks is gonna lose him downfield. 
and Alabama's going to go up by 14 points with five minutes to go. I mean, we got to get something quick. You might as well go to Jalen Hyde, and he's snagging things with one hand now. Are we kidding? Oh, my goodness. So just like that, Tennessee's down to the 25. First and 10, we got to score quickly. Julian Nixon on the angle route is going to pick up 12 yards, getting Tennessee now to a first or a second and 11 from the 10-yard line. Manning over the middle. Oh, he had a receiver, but it's just batted down. So a third and 11, Manning out the empty gun, looking to throw Jimmy Callaway on the corner route. He's been so good, but he drops it. And here's your game. Fourth and 11 with four minutes to go. Manning out the gun, looking to throw. He's going to go to the seam route. Julian Nixon's in. Nixon's going to score a 12-yard touchdown and makes this one a seven-point game with 4-16 left to play. It is not over just yet. We gotta get a stop though. Alabama's put up 42 points in this game. They're looking for more. Guys, look at Jason McClellan run. McClellan's over midfield, still running. Jalen McAuliffe's gonna push him out at the 40 yard line, but Alabama's a first down away from really getting a field range and icing this one. And I mean, Billingsley's gonna pick up 14. Uh, we still got two timeouts. Bryce Young gonna find Slade Bolden. Uh, I mean, tick tock, this clock's going. Second and three, Young's going to keep, and he'll be tackled. He loses three yards. Going to have to burn our second timeout. We've only got one left here in a third and six. Bryce Young keeps on a read option. McAuliffe is going to stop him. Huge hit, but Young just pops right back up. McAuliffe's got 11 tackles. That's cool, but Bama's going to kick the field goal. They'll go up by 10 points with 98 seconds to go. We got no timeouts. So Manning just going to try to fire one downfield. Jalen high in. Balls. Okay, it's going to be dropped. I mean, it's a tough play, but still you can't catch it. It'll be a third and 10 now for Tennessee from their own 25. Manning looking to his right. There goes Jalen Hyatt. He'll get out of bounds after a gain of 21 yards. But again, we've only got 82 seconds left. First and 10, Manning taking a shot. Can Jimmy Callaway haul this one? And he can. Oh, there is life in Knoxville. Jimmy Callaway picks up 42 yards. Manning's got 431 in the day. Empty gun look here in a first and 10. Manning lobs it up from Al Keenan. Keaton for a 12-yard touchdown. It's going to all come down to this onside kick, but Tennessee's cut the lead to four. We're going to go for two here just because why not? You might as well at this point in the game. We've got Jacob Warren, and he drops the football. That's why Julian Nixon took a starting job, but here you go. Onside kick. We are saying a prayer. Come on, James Norton. Give me the power. That ball's fumbled. Oh! Warren Morrell picks it up. It was bobbled by Alabama, and Tennessee's right back into it. They've got it with a minute 12 left. They recover the onside kick down by four. Manning looking over the top. Ramel Keenan's got it. Keenan's off the races. He'll be brought down at the seven. 49 yards for Tennessee. It's a first and goal with 56 seconds to go. Handoff. Tyon Evans. He will get in. Tyon Evans scores a touchdown. Tennessee's up by two. It will be three after the extra point. They're up 48 to 45, and after the onside kick, Tennessee's at top with 45 seconds to go. Alabama back with the football. Bryce Young gonna find Slade Bolden though for a game of about 12, and Alabama's not done yet with two timeouts. They've got it with 40 seconds. Young dropping back, stepping up in the pocket. He'll be brought down, Isaiah Simmons. It will now be a second and 14 for the Alabama offense. 30 seconds to go. They've used two timeouts. And there's just going to be a dump off to Billingsley. He'll only pick up five yards. The clock's going as Alabama doesn't want to take that last timeout. It's a third and nine for Young. Looking over the middle. Jameson Williams breaks off a tackle, but he's down. He'll only pick up seven. 15 seconds to go. Bama's still not using the timeout. This is going to be the game right here. Four seconds to go. Young looking to throw to his right. Ball will be caught by Mechie. But the time's expired. And Alabama's going to lose to number eight, Tennessee. The Volunteers beat Alabama for the second straight season. What a game. We said it was the game of the year in the SEC. And Tennessee comes out on top. They have beat Alabama for the second straight year in a row. And words cannot describe how huge this game is for Tennessee. Like, truly, this is such a huge victory considering the teams we play next on our schedule. And considering our path now to the SEC championship game consists of beating Missouri, Vanderbilt, and Kentucky. If we win those three games, win the SEC championship game. Also a non-conference game because Baylor will come next week. But as long as we can run the table, we're in the SEC championship game. And we'll just need a little bit of luck. And I think there's a very good chance we match up with Clemson again in this time in the national championship game. We'll see, though. We'll probably have to play Alabama again in the SEC championship game. But my goodness, what a victory for Tennessee. 
We'll check the rankings in our next episode on Wednesday before we play Baylor, but my goodness, insane. So you look at the scouting. I mean, after the game we just played, I don't know how much scouting matters, um, but we're still going after this guy here in Victor Rivers, I guess maybe our new quarterback after Manning leaves. Uh, Pat Leach is probably gonna be a running back heading over the team. More of the same, honestly, with the scouting. Terrence Edwards looking pretty good. I've, pretty much every other team in the nation has backed out on trying to recruit him. We're 91% locked in him, and we're the only school that's offered him a scholarship. So it looks like, looks like we're gonna be getting the man out of Rocky River, Ohio. Um, John Reese is a guy that we've been trying to get recently. He's from Tallahassee, trying to beat Michigan State right there to try to get Reese. Again, Michigan State, no scholarship under contract or that they've offered, excuse me. Uh, Kenny Whitworth is a guy we're trying to get as well. Samuel Adams, like the beer, we're trying to get. I mean, I don't know. These are like low level receivers, but good depth to have in the team. Like a guy, guy like Robert Williams coming out of Milwaukee, maybe try to beat UCLA to try to get him. Again, still got a long way to go in the recruiting season this year. Uh, Larry Crosby's the only tight end we're trying to get. We'll probably get him from Notre Dame. Craig Thomas, the tackle, has been one of the, the guys that we've been trying to get for the longest time. We're probably going to get him over V Tech. It's looking pretty good, honestly, this point in the season, considering we're beating V Tech in points every single week and he's still yet to visit our school. Brian Harris is going to be tough. The other tackle we're trying to recruit currently, it'll just be tough, honestly, to get him on the squad. We'll see, though. He's a 66 overall from Gardenia, California. It's looking like, though, he's going to be heading on over to Boston College. Brock Timmons looking pretty good. Clifton Dudley looking pretty good as well. Brian Ward, we've got to find a way to get this man the hell away from Ball State. He's already visited Kent State. Yeah, we're just gonna put all 700, honestly, into him at this point. Mark Sledge is a guy who we just entered the sweepstakes on really late in the recruiting season. He's gonna go to Baylor, most likely. Uh, Curtis Hackett, we'll probably get. Kyle Patrick, we haven't really recruited at all, but we're probably gonna get the man out of Scottsboro, Alabama, and it's looking good again that we're gonna get Hackett over Texas, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma. I'm at outside linebacker, Clay Parker. I think it's pretty much a lock, even though Michigan is playing, is making a late season play on him. So we're gonna have to up his points, definitely, but I think we should be able to still get him away from Michigan. He's gonna make our, his visit to Tennessee before he does Ann Arbor. So I think we'll get him. Randy Jefferson, we're gonna get corners. I've said this before, we're gonna be so weak at corner in the next couple years, especially with Brandon leaving and uh, Burrell leaving very soon after those guys, um, of course, graduate. And it's gonna be tough because we just can't recruit corners to save our lives. Like we've never been good at recruiting corners, it feels like. It's just gonna be tough. I mean, we might get this, you know, 60 overall free safety, Corey Jackson. He's a two star from Phoenix City, Alabama. Like, okay, we're gonna get those two safeties. Uh, Tom Williams, the guy I've been trying to get, he's a kicker. We'll see, just because I don't think James Norton's all that special. Steven Richard, I'm trying to get the man, but it's looking like he's gonna go to Pitt, unfortunately, even though we've been putting so many points in him each week, and then the rest of the athletes, same the stuff that we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks. So uh, folks, that'll do it for episode number 22 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on the channel. We beat Alabama. We're now gonna be in the top five of the rankings come Wednesday when we take on a Baylor. But again, we need 70 likes for that Baylor video. We need 70 likes on this video for that Baylor video to come out on Wednesday night. And folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 22 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA 14. If you haven't yet though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Folks, thank y'all for watching. And mama. Forever.